QuickBooks 2020 desktop version, new features. QuickBooks Pro and other desktop versions, new features for the year 2020. QuickBooks has added automated payment reminders. So when there's an invoice, say, that is past due, we can set up an automatic payment reminder so that an email can be set up or processed to go out to the clients for the payment reminders for past due payments, past due invoices. QuickBooks will automatically add customer purchase order POs to invoice emails. In other words, when we create an email with regards to a particular invoice, sending out the invoice in order to bill the client, the purchase order will be added to it. If we think about the process that this might take place in, a customer may send the company us, we're considering ourselves to be the company, a purchase order. We may take that purchase order and then create an invoice with it. Typically prior to that, we might uh, add the purchase order number to the subject line of the invoice that is created. The QuickBooks system will now automatically include the purchase order within the invoice, making that an easier process to do. It should be easier for then the recipient of the invoice to process within their accounting system, tying it out to the proper purchase order and hopefully increase the payment time that we'll be receiving payment on the invoice sent out. QuickBooks has added an ability to combine all invoices for a single customer in an email. Therefore, within QuickBooks, we can set up an email process and within QuickBooks, QuickBooks will add all of the outstanding invoices to that particular email. In the past, we would have had to go through those invoices. We would have to uh, take those invoices and download them and then attach them to an email if we wanted to include them all separately quickbooks will help us to automate that process or else we would have had to create emails within quickbooks but send a separate email for each of the invoices through quickbooks and that could lead to some confusion on the customer side of things therefore quickbooks has made it a bit easier that we can create uh, the invoice within or through the quickbooks system and instead of creating multiple emails we can attach the multiple invoices to the one email QuickBooks has also included horizontally collapsing columns. This will be useful if we have jobs, for example. If we have jobs and we, we're running types of reports that have a lot of columns to them given the different jobs or classes that are included. Before, typically, if we wanted to clean that up, we had to do some kind of customization or export a report to Excel and basically adjust the columns in that way. In the new QuickBooks then, or the new feature within QuickBooks, will allow us to collapse columns in a similar way as we've been able to collapse rows with certain type of things such as the jobs, such as the classes. This will make it a lot easier to maneuver around reports that are very long reports, very long reports in terms of them having a lot of columns within them. It'll be a lot easier for us to adjust those reports and maneuver around those reports and print out those reports in ways that are going to be most useful. QuickBooks has made adjustments to the help feature. So they have the smart help feature, which is designed to give help faster. There's also going to be an option that you could select F1 for improved content and search options for the help feature as a shortcut as well. It's also available or you can access a live customer support agent through messaging or callback option. They've also included an easy company file search. And this could be really helpful because obviously a lot of times when people have different types of QuickBooks files, the QuickBooks files might be stored on the computer in some location where they don't know where it is at because it might have been automatically stored. When we went into QuickBooks in the past, we only had the, the recent type of QuickBooks files to choose from. And if they weren't within that recent file, we'd had to go search for the file. So an easy uh, way in order to search for the QuickBooks file can be very useful. And so they have a new feature that's going to make it easier to locate and open uh, the QuickBooks files from uh, a location or be able to find them within a location on the computer. They've also updated the payroll process to make the payroll process and setting up the payroll process a more streamlined option in order to do it faster in a more efficient way. They've also added a payroll direct deposit status check to make it more easy for the employer to check on the direct deposit status.